How are you? Welcome back to the show. Um, now, the military on Monday began an operation in the southeast as part of efforts to address rising insecurity in the state. Recall that last week, nine persons, including Dr. Chike Akunyuli, the widow of late Minister of Information, Professor Dora Akunyuli, were killed by gunmen at Unko in the Ndemili South, North, rather, local government area of Anambra State. This recent occurrence of the so-called unknown gunmen in the southeast in the past few weeks call for concern among peace-loving Nigerians. Call for concern among peace-loving Nigerians. Now, to help us analyze this, we still have with us the political technocrat himself, Dr. Dio Kayode. Dr. Dio, so much um, passion from your last statement. Your last words were, where are we? Now, the state of insecurity in the country. Where are we? The military began an operation in the southeast as part of the efforts to address rising insecurity in the region. They call it exercise Golden Dawn. And um, according to some statements by social media users and also people from the eastern part of Nigeria said the rising insecurity in increased after the leader of the IPOP was arrested in June. Do you agree with that statement? Mm -hmm. I will also start this one with another question. Who takes us back to that Nigeria that we used to know in the past? Whereby there is security everywhere. Insecurity or security was never in our never in our lexicon in Nigeria. Because you can go to anywhere without being afraid. We have, then we have Yorubas becoming political leaders in the East. Yeah. You have Easterners or Ausa Fulani, Ijo, becoming political leaders right here in Lagos. Even in Ibadan. But look at what, where we are today. And that's why I want to look at this, this particular happenstance as regards security as nothing other than idiocy of the government. Nothing other than that. By not doing what is supposed to be done at the right time, one. By dealing with the federal constraints. In, in a way that has eroded trust among the people. I mean, within, among the people. And among the people and the government. When you're talking of what is happening now in the East, it is all about trust gap between the people and the government. How? IPOP stood up and said, look, if you are not seeing us as part of the Federation, then allow us to go. If you are seeing us as an aberration to your federal system, by not allowing us to, to take part fully in the governance of the federation, then allow us to go. So why didn't you listen to that and then make amendments to ensure that you erase that thing on their mind? Look at the security apparatus in the country now. The leadership are from one area of the country. When you look at various appointments, 80, over 80% over from a session of the country. That is an aspect. Now, some people that are agitating peacefully.
people that are agitating peacefully, you are matching them with force. But those that are marauders, those that are terrorists, those that are killing Mimi and taking some other people's properties, raping women, abducting children, distorting, distorting stability in the polity, you are treating them with glove hands. You are not catching them. You are not, you are not reprimanding them. You are not, you are not, you are not. For goodness sake, how will you expect those that are carrying out their activities peacefully to not trust you? Okay. No. Much as, sorry sir, no. much as, much as I wouldn't support violence. I wouldn't support violence. At the same time, listen to what these people are saying. And then let us find a way to solve this rather than align people to be killing themselves. All right. Now, uh, according to the Nigerian Constitution, Section 33, as amended, every person has a right to life and no one shall be deprived intentionally of his life, save in the execution of the sentence of a court in respect of a criminal offense of which he has been found guilty in Nigeria. Mm. Again, Section 14, subsection 2B, states that the welfare and Are you security not of the citizens. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the, I'm quoting from the Constitution. Yeah. That's uh, talking about uh, Section 14. Uh, the welfare and security of the citizens shall be the primary purpose mm. of mm. government. Mm. In the first instance, mm. senseless killings have been going on. Mm. And no day passes mm. without news of people being killed in one part of the country, oh. country or the other. Oh, good. Secondly, talking about the primary purpose of a government, which is ensuring security, there is instability mm. across the board, mm. across all parts of the country. Mm. Why? Is our constitution being relegated? Why does it look as if the constitution does not exist anymore? Because if the constitution uh, would have been treated as it should have been treated, the contents of the constitution would have made the government, for instance, to ensure security. Do you understand? Yeah. T take pause and ponder yes and then take the next and that's why i said the other time it is not about changing our constitution that that is the problem mm -mm. Like our constitution is not the major problem it's the people that are operating that constitution that are the problems imagine a constitutional committee the leader of a constitutional committee telling those that decide to leave their daily activities to come and attend your your town hall meeting and you are calling you are calling them thugs I, I don't know whether you understand now somebody is supposed to even entice people to to come and let us dialogue you are now sending them away by calling them thugs you, you know who i'm talking about now <laughs> and that's why i said this thing is being caused by idiocy of the uh, 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 of the government because they are not doing the right thing at the right time. What is happening in the East wouldn't have happened mm. if only they have handled this issue with care and diplomacy. The issue of even Kanu wouldn't have gotten to this level if at that time they have called Kanu and his uh, uh, court travelers to a table conference. What, what will it take them? It doesn't take them anything. Call them to a table conference. Okay, guys. What are your needs? Yeah, we want to participate in government. We, we, we want to be recognized as a people. We want to be seen as part of the federation. Okay, how do we go about it? 
let us share let us share the positions accordingly but even even when you want to do so mago mago there you do it you do it with style not that you do it brazenly no we are all human beings with blood and water running through our veins but dr dial this issue of the sit at home in the southeast yes. it's more like um someone shooting himself on the leg and expecting the government to feel the pain now some i think in Enugu, they some holding bonds to try to go because mm. they try to go right that disobey the sit at home in an economy where it's almost totally out gone people are trying to make ends meet and you're you're forcing them to sit at home is it not crippling your own economy in the south is whereby mm. you think mm. Enjoying mm. yourself will mm. make the government feel the pain. Yeah. You are feeling the pain. Yes, that is uh, another aspect to the old story. And that even makes me to uh, remember what happened to that little girl of 24 that was killed. I think Chuma or so, when he was filming uh, the the soldiers mm. or the, or, I mean, sorry, the unidentified gunmen. Mm -hmm. And uh, she was shot. You know, my, my heart felt for for the family and all that. And I think on this particular platform, sometimes ago, we were discussing this issue of sit at home. I said, I poll leadership should also realize that where their own right stops is where other people starts from. I was reading something about uh, this Baba this morning, uh, Professor Akitoe, Senator Akitoe, saying Yorubas we go before 2023. I was just asking myself, who are the Yorubas that you say we go before 2023? Go where? That we go outside, um, uh, uh, away from Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Before, I was just saying, ah, ah, this Baba should know that I am not part of them. And I'm, I'm a very, I'm a Yoruba man. It shouldn't, I mean, it shouldn't be making some statements Realizing. that are, that are annoying. Because it, to me, it's annoying. How can you say you rubas you go and you are saying that one in far away Kotonu? According to that, he was in Kotonu then joining the Brazilian in a Zoom meeting and all that. How can you do that? So also, Kanu should realize it's not all Igbos that wants to succeed. So you shouldn't use that one to also disturb the economic <laughs> activities of the people both economic and especially cultural social the cultural social activities of the people because at the end of the day when you when you do that no doubt about it the hoodlums it might not necessarily be the ipod it, mm. in quote it might not necessarily be the ipod members that are killing we have seen situations in this country whereby there are uh, uh, agitations, demonstrations, Inside and then the hoodlums hijacked. hijacked it. So when when those you say you are fighting for are dying, who will you fight for again? One wonders. Do you understand? Mm. So I think I think uh, uh, IPOP leadership, as much as some of us respects their opinion stand by them with their agitations they should also be careful so that they don't carry out their activities in a way that will be causing mayhem killings and maiming of the people they said they are defending now uh doctor oh man there is need to call everything by their names. Yes. The unknown gunmen, yeah. the bandits, yeah. appear to have committed more grievous crimes. Yes. Appear to have perpetrated more evil yes. than the known, like Boko Haram, terrorists, and what have you. Mm. The question now is, who are these bandits? Who are these unknown gunmen? Are they not human beings? I do, not, do they not dwell or live among us? And why, Two people why, why are they giving those names, whereas 
what they do, their actions, appear to be much worse than their name represents. Two people will ask that particular question. Two people. And I will not hesitate to mention their names. Number one, the president. Number two, Sheikh Gumi. Hmm? Why? You know why? Some names had been sent to the federal government of Nigeria by Saudi Arabia people. To publish. Are you part of the federal government? The president. President Muhammad Buhari. GCON. Must have been privy to those names as the number one citizen of this country. So we have to ask him. Two, Sheikh Gumi have been negotiating on behalf of the bandits. He's not doing it behind the doors, he's saying it in the open. That you should even treat them with gloved hands. That they are also human beings. Mm. It's only those people that mm. the bandits are killing. They are maiming. They are raping. They are, they are, they are not human beings. Do you understand? Mm. So, sir, I'm sorry. Oh, it's those two people you will direct those questions to. If only you can reach out to them. Direct those questions to them. I was just reading. Last night. The NASCO. NASCO, who is now late? NASCO, NASCO, Biscuit, NASCO conflicts. This, these are facts and figures that have been released by United Nations and by other other agencies. Do you understand? That are authentic. What has been done to them? Hmm. And this is somebody who is from Eritrea, who is not a Nigerian from Eritrea. We are so aware what this one is also saying in the north. This guy from, uh, from uh, Mauritania. Does he go to no shot in Mauritania to spend Christmas? Saying the north, the north will still be ruling the Nigeria the way they are ruling. And we are looking. You see, most of these people, they are not Nigerians. And that's why they could be doing what they are doing. And that's why we can be, we can be uh, 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 building refineries in the Nigerian Republic. That's why we can, we can say, okay, yeah, we are nice people. We are big brothers to Africans. Lay pipe from South-South to the Nigerian Republic to go, and be, to go and be refining our oil there. Then we, we import again from there. We have a whole load of them there, up there. And that's why I won't blame. I won't blame the IPOP. Other than, other than, they should be careful the way they go about their activities. Right. Thank you so as not much. to inflict injury on those they said they are fighting for. Thank, Thank you, you so, much, so, so, so very much, uh, Doctor.